need a good service to print your circuit boards, I'm sure PCBWay will have the right solution for you at the best price. They don't only have different kinds of PCB like Flex PCB and Advanced PCB, but now you can get your circuit boards with higher TG at the same price. Imagine that. Remember, PCB Way can help you with many other services. Just go and visit their at their website and check all that they can do for you. And don't forget that your first order is for free. Hey, today I'm going to do a program a little bit different than normally because I'm not going to be talking about drones this time. I'm going to be talking about a 3D printer. This that I have here is a Voron V0. Probably you don't have any idea what a Voron is, but I'm here to tell you a little bit about this and maybe if it's something that you are or you could be interested in to match with your FPVE hobby. What's special about this 3D printer is that Voron is a brand, but there is no company behind it. It's just a group of people that decided to put their brains together and create designs for 3D printers for people to build themselves, thinking for themselves, like what's the best printer that I can do or what's the best printer that I want to have that I can build myself at home, but that is super good quality and that I can use 24 seven. And they came with four designs. You have the Vorum V0, which is this one that we have here, or actually this is a 01 or 0 0.1. Then you have the Vorum V1, which is also known now as the Trident. Then you have the 2.4, which is the flagship of Vorum. And then you have the last one that is called the Switch Wire. I'm not gonna enter into details about all of them, but I do want to speak about this one that I have here. Why did I choose it? And how is it playing together with my FPV hobby? The main reason why I chose to have this one was because of the size. I wanted to have something small that could fit in my house without taking a lot of place. And this one is the smallest one that they have. In fact, it is so small, that you can see here, the bed is only 12 by 12 centimeters and you can go up to 12 centimeters, hey, for your builds. This is almost nothing. I was also very interested in building a 3D printer myself from scratch because everyone says that that's the best way for you to learn about how do they work and if they break, then you have all that knowledge and you are able to troubleshoot it in a better way and fix it in a better way. Very similar to what's happening with our drones, right? Because once you start playing with the drone and building all the parts, is that you actually understand how things are working together and you can fix them better. In the case of the printer, if you look, if you watch some of those YouTube videos building these things, uh, in a live stream or something else, you might get scared of trying to build it because it's actually not that simple. If you are that kind of person that you are not very handy, that you don't like to put things together and screw 40, 40 screws or something like that, maybe this is not the best idea to have. Remember, there is no company behind it, which means that there is no full assemble product that you can buy. You buy pieces. You can buy a kit where you have all the pieces. You print the plastic parts and then you have to build it from scratch. That was something that was interesting for me, but it might not be interesting for you. And if that's not the case, there are other brands that you can buy. There are other 3D printers that you can buy all completely done, completely built and use from the start. Like for example, the Prusa. But this one, again, everything comes in pieces. You have to put everything together. There is a huge amount of screws to screw. There is, I don't know how many, 60, 80 hex nuts to put in place. And you have to make sure that everything is correctly aligned and the distance between one thing and the other, it's measured with a caliper. So it's exactly what it has to do in order for the printer to work properly. So it's not a piece of cake. 
It took me around four days to mechanically build this 3D printer. It, I wasn't in a hurry and I was taking it easy, doing a couple of hours here and a couple of hours there. But anyway, it's a long time that you have to invest just mechanically building it. Then it comes the software part and the tuning part, which software wise, I would say that this one is ready. Tuning, I would say that I'm not an expert, so I kind of have it in a place that I'm happy with, but I know that there is much more that you can do to get it even better. That process of building the software and trying to calibrate to the point that it is today took me another three days. So we are talking about a week to get this thing from zero to a point where you can print. It's kind of a lot of time. But again, if you are in the FPV hobby, most probably you like to be fiddling with things, building and breaking and changing things. And this might not be a bad project for yourself. So what's so special about a Voron printer? I would say that there is a couple of important things. One is again that the design was made so things work the best. You are having kind of like the best printer. Some people even say that they are over engineered. So you are probably very sure that when you have one of these ones you are getting the best quality that you can get. And the second thing that I'm going to mention is that they strive for speed. So this one that is here it's very fast compared to, for example, the Prusa Mini that I had before. I get between 20 and 30% faster prints in this one without being properly calibrated. I think if you get to the point where you have this like calibrated to the best you can, you can go even faster. The second thing that is special about the Voron printers is that they are made to print a plastic that is called ABS. ABS is a special plastic that you need. Normally you need an enclosure to be able to print it because you have to keep the right temperatures around the print part in order to stick and not bend and not, you know, get all messy. And if you see, this printer has the enclosure as a part of the build. You have this little lid here, you have the door, you have everything, and it's made so you can print ABS kind of out of the box. My main plastic is TPU because of the drones. I like to print parts for my customers and for myself to add to my drones, customize them, and throw in a GoPro or a 360 camera or anything like that. And this one is also very good at printing TPU. There's nothing wrong with it. But I think the design is for made for ABS. So from my side, I would say I'm very happy having this printer. It's small, it fits where I wanted to fit the only space that I have at home. It is pretty cool. I feel so empowered after building this because I think that I'm understanding much better how these things work and how can I use it for the best. I also feel that now I can give my customers even better quality on their prints and I have something that is helping me doing it faster. A few thoughts before I close this video is number one, again the bed is very small. It's just 12 by 12 and normally when you are configuring things you lose a couple of millimeter here and there. So I would say that the useful space might be more like 1010 or 1111 or something like that. So if you're thinking to have a printer and only one printer at home for you to build things that are not only for your drones for something else, think a little bit about it because any piece that is a little bit longer than 13 centimeter, uh, millimeters or something like that because you can use the diagonal, right? It might be difficult to print here. So that's one downside. But if you are just thinking about FPV parts where they are very small and you don't need anything bigger than that, this printer is cool. The second thing that I was going to say is the fact that after I build this 3D printer, 
I started to read a lot about it on the internet and I found out that it's the most complicated Voron to build. I think it's because of the size. You have to, you know, get into small places, make sure that things are in the right place, but then you don't have a lot of space to work with it. And people are saying that it's the most complicated of the four of them that they are out there. The other ones are bigger, and then maybe you have more space to work around, and maybe there is more information. I'm not 100% sure why, because I haven't built any of the other warrants. But yeah, they say that this one is the most complicated. So if you are out there looking for, looking to build a printer, and it's going to be your very first one, you might want to consider it, or you might want to think about it. This was my first printer to build, not to use. And I said it was complicated, but it's not rocket science or it's not impossible. It took me a long time. Maybe if you are experienced, it would take you half of the time that it took me, but it's possible to build. It's not impossible. Well, I think this is everything that I have for today. Again, this was a little bit different video because it's not that much about drones, but about this 3D printer that has me very happy right now. Thank you for watching and see you soon.